Okay, I wanna to explain to you why I don't like wish picks. Because, you know, doing surgery, I'm working with your body, only your body. And so a wish pick is showing somebody else's after photo that is really, we just don't know how they looked beforehand. And even if we had a before photo, we really just can't make you look like the after photo. I always do the same thing for every single patient and that is when I'm doing liposuction, I do OG lipo or a BBL, it's still developing the OG line. So everyone will look the same with my style, but they'll have a different look to their body. And so I, what I do is I do with the liposuction, I come down and try and get the smallest waist and then I graft into the hip, okay? So this is the OG line. So this is liposuction here. This is lipo to get the smaller waist. And then this is adding fat here, which is the BBL component, okay? And with those two things together, you get this concave and convex line that we call the OG line. When I'm grafting here into the hip, um, it's actually a grafting back further even. The hip dip starts actually way further back. So in order to be able to support this fat here, I have to build back here to really provide a base to be able to support that fat. Then after I've established the hip, done the lipo, established the hip, then I add volume here. And that's gonna, the volume that's blending in here is going to match the volume that I put in the hip. Because if you look at a sphere, and you, you look and you, we always are trying to get things around, then these points here are coming out at us. These are 90 degrees to us, okay? So that's where I want this point of maximal projection to match this point of match, maximal projection here. So this is always what I do for every single patient. But everyone is going to look different because of their natural waist size, the length of their torso, the shape of their pelvis, the way the femur hits into where the pelvis is. There's many, many more things, how developed the muscle is, where the muscle attachments are. So we're talking about many, 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 many factors that are gonna be influencing the shape of this OG line. I will always do the exact same thing. Always start with lipo high in the back, lipo all the way down, build out the hip. But this line in some patients, you know, this, this waist may come in smaller and their hip may come out larger. And so you'll get a more exaggerated look to the OG. It's still the OG, it's just shorter and more pronounced. You may have patients that come in and they're gonna be flatter through here. And those patients may still have a very nice waist, but I'll tell them beforehand, I may not just be able to get you as much of a hip as you or I want. I love hips. They're, I think they're beautiful. They make the shape of a female extremely pretty. I always try to get the fullest hip I possibly can. But there are some patients, whereas before surgery, we can tell, you know what? You just don't have enough softness here. So I always do the same thing. I always try to get this OG line to make your OG the very best for your OG, but it's gonna be different than every other patient out there. And that's, that's, that's really what we want. We don't want every single person to be looking exactly the same anyway. And so I'm gonna get you your OG for you and give you the very best OG I can. And that's really all that we can do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the little bell so you get notified of upcoming videos. That's my mission, that's my job, is to educate you so you're more informed about a plastic surgery and about plastic surgery procedures that you may be interested in. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.